A late good afternoon on this Monday. I'm uh, Rod Hill coming to you a little bit after five o'clock from the uh, Portland, Vancouver area. And we'll talk a little bit about especially Western Oregon and Western Washington. The big story today, you're looking at it. This photo was grabbed from the National Weather Service office in Portland. And if you don't know, their office is still out near the airport, but just east of I-205. I'm not sure of the exact timing of this photograph. They posted it. Uh, around one o'clock this afternoon after the eclipse was over. But they say, hey, we got a little thinness, a little break in the cloud cover, and voila, right here you can see the moon casting a shadow and kind of encroaching and past or in front of the sun. Remember, at most, we were looking for a 23% coverage of the sun, and that was going to be at 1125 this morning. Now, most areas, I think it's safe to say, had cloud cover, and didn't get to see anything. Certainly more of us probably not seeing anything than did. But there you can plainly see our partial eclipse with the moon taking out the bottom little uh, portion of the sun right there, kind of eating it like Pac-Man, if you will. So thank you to the uh, National Weather Service for grabbing that picture and posting it. Uh, we did have sun in parts of our state. It's been partly cloudy out in Hood River much of the day. So you folks, I assume, uh, had at least a Partial view. This is Hood River this afternoon, Cathedral Ridge Winery. But there's a Gearhart by the Seas camera looking south of Tillamook Head and Seaside, all cloudy, cloudy in the valley, the wine country, Camas Meadows. It was generally a partly cloudy day in central Oregon. So again, I'm sure some folks did get to see a little bit of it. But back on the west side, Woodland, uh, Silverton, the Oregon Garden Resort camera up in the Cascades at Welch's. Um, Sisters, again, had kind of a mixed bag of clouds today, probably some viewing. But again, a lot of us didn't. Right now, overcast, both cameras from the Inn at Ottercrest uh, down in Lincoln County. So if you got to see it, uh, I, I think here on the west side of the state, you are one of the people that really lucked out. Some bad images on the radar, but as it blinks back and forth at 512 this afternoon, you can see it has been a rainy day all day, really, up in western Washington. Seattle's had some rain. They had thick cloud cover up that way. Right here, moving out into the West Gorge right now, is that batch of light rain that did come through the Portland area. And remember, we had, uh, in fact, the possibility of what I called some traces of rain in the area today, which is what we ended up seeing. There's a lot of moisture, if you look to the right, sitting up off the coast of Washington right here. And again, all of this is going to keep driving clouds into our area. Here you can see the cold front offshore, the warm front just near shore. And here's the one I really want to show you. So if you look at the contour, you see there's a little bit of ridging up here, right in here into southwestern Oregon. And then you can see this elongated frontal boundary kind of lays down on what's a zonal flow with the cold trough well up to our north. Anyway, these clouds from this front keep coming in overnight tonight. The frontal boundary, while very weak, comes into our area first thing tomorrow morning. That will keep the chance of some scattered light showers around. If you look to the right, the infrared satellite picture, there's no lightning detected. And this IR picture is almost like a visible image, the way they've got a filter. It's really nice. But you can see this is a thin batch of clouds. There's nothing to the north. So again, there's a chance overnight tonight, tomorrow morning, of some scattered light showers in the area. And that's it. Anything we would get would be less than a tenth of an inch of total rain. And pretty much that's what the National Blended Model shows on their future radar. So here we are at 5 p.m. Rain mainly up to our north, although Astoria, Long Beach, been on again, off again rain for you folks. Here we are tomorrow morning. Here's the frontal boundary just starting to slip down into Kelso, Longview with a little bit of rain at 5 a.m. Here we are at uh, this would be late morning, 10 in the morning. This would be traceable amounts of rain with some cloud cover where you see the gray extending from Newport up through Portland. And then this does hold on to a shower early afternoon. This would be one o'clock. There's a little bit of a light rain shower. But I think after that, the rain chance totally goes away. We're absolutely dry, becoming partly cloudy behind that frontal boundary tomorrow afternoon into the night. And then we have no rain until Thursday overnight into Friday. There are some changes to the weekend. And if you want it to be a little warmer, a little less rainy, the changes are good. Here's the American GFS upper level flow. This is this afternoon. Remember, we showed the little ridging, slight ridging in the southwestern Oregon. 
Here's the zonal flow pattern where that front's kind of hanging out. And again, to the north, you have this cold trough up in here. So let me go ahead and play this into um, tomorrow morning. Here we are. Here's the cold front just kind of coming right through us. But as soon as this front passes, this is tomorrow morning. See the ridging back in here? So that's why there's a morning shower chance, but then becoming partly cloudy, no rain chance later in the day. Here's the ridge building, probably mainly clear Tuesday night. And then I have Wednesday still as the sunniest, warmest day of the week. This is Wednesday morning. There's the ridge right over top of us. Not as warm as what we have seen with some of these ridges recently, but I still like our chances in Portland of hitting 70 degrees on Wednesday. And then we play it into Thursday morning. We're still dry. Here's Thursday afternoon at 5 p.m. I think we're dry, but you have this trough back here starting to swing in. So increasing cloudiness at some point, the p.m. hours of Thursday. I don't know if we get some, we could get some rain, especially along the coast Thursday evening and maybe more like midnight or after for the I-5 corridor. Here's Friday morning. Um, now it's looking like the surface front is taking its time and pushing in. Notice how the low, it looked like yesterday, this low was going to swing inland, but now the models keep it offshore. That keeps us from getting as cold as I thought we would be. It keeps the snow levels closer to um, 6,000 feet, actually, Friday afternoon instead of like 3,000 feet. So that's a big difference, right? And while maybe still likely showers, I don't think overall as many showers and certainly not the risk for heavy explosive showers that I was looking at. This is Friday. And then look what happened Saturday. Here we are midday Saturday. That low drops all the way down into California. That's wet for the Bay Area. The next system is way up here in the Gulf of Alaska. So northern flow, southern flow, it's what we call a split. And all of a sudden, I think if this is true, we will be dry. And we could be partly cloudy and well up into the 60s. Then we get into Sunday morning. Right now, I still think it's dry. I'm watching this trough up here. Um, here's Sunday afternoon. See, there's a cold front probably still to our north. But right now, I'm going to tell you there's an increasing chance of some scattered showers coming down from the north Sunday afternoon. But maybe, maybe that rain holds off until Sunday night or Monday. And if it does, then we would be dry on Saturday and Sunday for the weekend. Wouldn't that be something? But certainly, as we go into Monday of uh, next week, Here's Monday. There's that trough kind of staying to our north, but absolutely a northwesterly flow and scattered showers during the day Monday. And then it may quickly pass. Here's Tuesday morning. See how it quickly passed into Montana and even over to Nebraska and Kansas? So here's ridging. So that's a dry Tuesday. More ridging. And right now it looks like it could be dry on Wednesday. Could it be dry on Thursday? Could it be dry on Friday? Possibly. So maybe we get into a long dry stretch next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll see. Remember yesterday we talked about the outlooks. The, the last two weeks or certainly the last 10 days of April, we're looking drier and warmer. That would back that up. So we'll see. But the models have hinted before recently at fairly long dry stretches that just kind of fall apart. Remember, they were hinting at this week we're in right now doing that. But now we know there's some rain coming in on Friday that a week ago wasn't showing up. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, well, at it looks like the high in Portland today is going to be 56, maybe 57. 56 is the current number. It's 60 down in Eugene. Remember we had that little ridging down in here? 64 in Medford. So that really shows up nicely, right? That's the current temp. Tomorrow, all dry down in Medford. Decreasing clouds, 57. The sunshine Wednesday into Thursday. Then the likely... Um, showers on Friday. Remember, while Portland is dry on Saturday, maybe Sunday, that low dropped south into California. So maybe there's some rain over the weekend into southern Oregon. And that's what uh, that seems to be showing us. Over in Newport, chance of showers tomorrow, mainly in the morning. Been a beautiful sunny at the coast. Clouding up Thursday, but probably staying dry until the evening or overnight. And then we have the rain Friday. And then this shows a chance of rain on Saturday. But if that low does drop into California quickly enough, the coast will be dry on Saturday and maybe dry on Sunday. So I think the weekend forecast, you may be seeing rain icons on your phone, is not really locked in right now. And again, there is reason to believe the weekend could turn out to be really very, very, very nice. Eugene, 60 degrees right now. Wow, let's go ahead and show you Salem. Slight chance of showers tomorrow morning and then becoming dry, sunny, 65, maybe warmer. Thursday looks great. 
There's the showers on Friday. And again, the weekend, maybe it's turning out to be dry. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Central Oregon, 57 right now. Ben, beautiful weather tomorrow. 60, 66, Wednesday, 70, Thursday. Talk about the place to be the next several days. Wow. Chance of showers on Friday and maybe some thunderstorms scattered about on Saturday. Again, the weekend forecast, I think it's really still up for grabs. I don't think the models have locked in yet. Seattle, 52 right now. Absolutely some morning rain and then partly cloudy. Dry on Wednesday. Chance of rain later in the day on Thursday. Then you've got Friday and again for the weekend. Now, it's certainly a better chance of rain in Seattle on Sunday than Portland right now. But Saturday could be dry. Again, the weekend forecast can't say enough in my mind. It's just certainly uncertain at this time. 32 up at Timberline right now, 38 Meadows, 33 in Ski Bowl. Snow level up there tomorrow morning will be at about 5,000 feet uh, with the chance of some light precipitation. Passes are in good shape. Government Camp, 38. There's all the passes, no problem. Uh, Siskiyou Summit, 50 degrees right now. How about that? Cabbage Hill is all dry too, about 50, 48 degrees out that direction. Um, 44 tomorrow, showers in the morning. And then I think becoming partly cloudy. There could be a lingering shower up in the Cascades, but I think there will be some sun developing tomorrow afternoon. And then a dry Wednesday and a dry Thursday with, with mild temperatures up into the 50s at, at uh, past level. All right, my seven-day forecast, and then I'll let you go. AM showers tomorrow becoming dry and partly cloudy, 64. Wednesday, 70. Hallelujah. I enjoy that. Thursday, clouds increase. Chance of rain up here somewhere. Thursday evening overnight into Friday. But again, not as cold and not as heavy of showers as I was thinking. In fact, Saturday looks dry to me right now. And while Sunday could be dry, for now I'll show that PM shower chance. And then Monday, heavier showers. But remember, that could be followed by some dry weather Tuesday and Wednesday. So really, if you put it all together, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, a little bit of cool, a little bit of warm, it's pretty nice and pretty typical seven-day for this time of April. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the button. Please tell a friend. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching my weather sites, portlandweather.com, and I'll talk to you soon.